Mixed multiplication 1, 2s, 5s and 10s. In this nugget, we're going to be multiplying by 2, 5 and 10. Before we start multiplying, we need to be able to count in 2s, 5s and 10s. Let's start by counting in 2s. Here we have 12 monsters and each monster has 2 eyes. We're going to count in twos to find out how many eyes there are in total. See if you can count with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-four. We have counted in twos and worked out that 12 lots of 2 is 24, so there are 24 eyes altogether. Now let's practice counting in fives. Here we have another 12 monsters, each with 5 eyes. How many eyes are there altogether? See if you can count in fives with me. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 12 lots of 5 is 60. There are 60 eyes all together. Now let's count in tens. These 12 monsters each have 10 eyes. Count in tens with me. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. There are 120 eyes all together. Now it's your turn. Count in twos, fives and tens to fill the gaps in these number tracks. Pause the video and have a go. Let's go through the answers now. For this first number track, you had to count in tens. Well done if you knew that the missing numbers were 20, 50, 90, 100 and 120. For the next number track, you had to count in twos. Well done if you knew that the missing numbers were 6, 12, 14, 20 and 24. And finally, for the last number track, you had to count in fives. Well done if you knew that the missing numbers were 20, 35, 40 and 60. If you can count confidently in twos, fives and tens, you're ready to get multiplying. To help us multiply by two, five and ten, we'll look at how we can use arrays, number lines and your fingers to help you. As you become more confident, you should aim to multiply in your head. Let's start by using arrays. This array shows either 5 lots of 2 or 2 lots of 5. This is the same as 5 times 2 or 2 times 5. You can use the array to help you. You could count each dot. But if you can already count in your twos or fives, you can count each group. You can count in twos. Two, four, six, seven, eight, ten. Or you could count in fives. Five, ten. Five times two and two times five both equal ten. If you're trying to solve a multiplication calculation and you don't already have an array to help you, you can draw one. 
Let's look at this calculation. 4 times 5. To help calculate this, you can draw an array. Here, we need 4 rows of 5. This is the first row. Now we need 4 more. Let's speed things up a little. You could also draw the array like this. Here we have four vertical groups of five. Now we just need to count the dots. Remember, you could count each dot on its own, but if you can count in fives, you can count in groups of five at a time. Here we have five, 10, 15, 20. So four times five equals 20. Now let's look at how we could have solved this using a number line. All we need to do is make four jumps of five. Remember, when using a number line to help with multiplication, we must always start at zero. So now let's make those four jumps of five. Five, 10, 15, 20. That's four jumps. So this number line also shows us that four times five equals 20. You may find that you don't need to write anything down to help you with your multiplication. You may be able to count on your fingers. To solve four times five, you could just hold up four fingers and count five on each finger. Five, 10, 15, 20. Now it's your turn to have a go. If you need to, you can use arrays, number lines, or your fingers to help you. If you can solve them in your head, then that's even better. Pause the video and have a go. Now let's go through the answers. 5 times 10 equals 50. 6 times 2 equals 12. 4 times 5 equals 20. 8 times 2 equals 16. 11 times 5 equals 55. And finally, 9 times 10 equals 90. Well done if you got them all correct. So remember, when multiplying by 2, 5 and 10, you should first be able to count in multiples of 2, 5 and 10. Once you can do this, you can use arrays, number lines or your fingers to help you. As you become more confident, you will be able to multiply by 2, 5 and 10 in your head.